And this year marks the 40th anniversary of a label that was actually founded to put out your, your work, which is an extraordinary tribute in, it, in itself. I've been guilty once or twice in, 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 in writing about, um, as, as I have to do sometimes as a, as a music critic, writing about the label as much as the music, and, and saying that American music for possibly two decades seemed dependent in the sense of um, dependent on for getting the music out there on European labels. You think of Black Saint and Soul Note in, in, in Italy and Hat Art, mm -hmm. um, the, the label that was established to um, to put out your music. And it occurs to me that's probably the wrong way to look at it, that it's not that you know American musicians have been dependent on those labels, mm -hmm. as if they have simply taken their work there. Um, and that there is actually a you know much yeah. more of a dialogue going on. Well, um CJR, which is, it's, uh, Craig Johnson is uh, the man who started that label, a very good friend of mine, he's a painter, he's now living in Seattle. Uh, he heard me playing one day and he, he asked me if I would be interested in doing, making a recording and I said, are you kidding? No, why? He wanted to make solo recordings, like nobody would want to hear that. <laughs> so, he bought some equipment and began recording me. Uh, we did some experimental things in his basement, some that are gonna come, I hope soon, some are really gonna be interesting uh, uh, in the beginning of, of this label. He recorded um, the first underground railroad in a monastery nearby where we lived, which some very adventurous monks allowed us to go there and record it in this place. And Eventually, four recordings on CJ for uh, R came, uh, which led to uh, a Swiss entrepreneur, the name of Werner Erlinger, uh, who found one of the last recordings that we had made and wanted to release it. That's how Half Up started. So, in fact, the label in, in New York State which had only at that time uh, created four releases, uh, was the progenitor of Hat Hut, the Swiss label, which became a very important independent jazz or new music or creative music or whatever label you want to put on this um, label, which is still in existence today. And uh, CJR went on to release in all of those years, only eight recordings, the last four on CD. And uh, so now it's having a kind of uh, what, resurgence, not a resurgence, but it's been rediscovered in a sense. Those, those four early recordings have become big collector's items. Mm -hmm.